If you've been within 50 feet of the city of Reading, then you're certain to have heard of the Reading Pagoda. Its likeliness can be found throughout the town, and even as an alternate logo for the city's AA baseball team, the Fightin' Phils, formerly known as the Reading Phillies. Owned by the city of Reading since 1911, the pagoda can currently be rented out for special occasions such as weddings. There's also a cafe on the first floor, but I haven't been there. The pagoda was originally conceived by William Whitman Sr. as a focal point for a resort atop Mount Pin. Whitman was a Reading-born politician and well-known builder. Popular and affable, he was several times over a strong candidate for the mayor of Reading, though never successfully elected to the post. It was during one of these elections though, or rather between one of these elections, around 1907 that he began building the iconic pagoda. The pagoda was supposedly designed around a 15th century Japanese palace, but in actuality it more accurately resembles a Coney Island facsimile which it was doubtlessly modeled after. With the stones coming from his own nearby quarry, the seven story structure features five foot thick walls at its base which gradually taper to two feet in thickness. It also has a fireplace and chimney which might not sound like a big deal to you, but it totally is as the Reading Pagoda is the only pagoda in the world to have such features at least according to the city of Reading. Completed in 1908, the plans for the resort were scrapped. This was due in part to an inability to get a liquor license, but mostly due to issues with a bank. Whitman deeded the pagoda and surrounding property to a local department store magnate, Jonathan Mould. Mould would turn around within a year and sell the land to the city of Reading for the tidy sum of one dollar, which somebody's bound to say back in 1911, one dollar was like fifteen dollars, but Actually, according to the Bureau of Labor's Consumer Price Index, $1 in 1911, adjusted for inflation, would be $24.68 today. The city of Reading was quick to utilize the pagoda for a variety of purposes, including news and emergency dispatch service. Seriously, red, white lights signifying Morse codes, dots, and dashes flash atop the pagoda, which looms over much of the city and conveyed important information about fire locations and, I don't know, maybe tips about investing in Crosley and Atwater, Kent. These days, lights still flash, but most often on Christmas Eve. During the Second World War, the Japanese-looking pagoda visible through much of town was not exactly well regarded, and I read that there was even talk of raising it, though I don't know how serious this was as obviously remains today. However, the 1960s saw significant restorations to the pagoda, which in the 40s and early 50s had fallen into some disrepair. The pagoda today remains a popular attraction in the city. It is the focal point for community and private events. People visiting the city of Reading are apt to visit the pagoda not only because there's a giant pagoda sitting above the city with an awesome view of said city, but some also go to the seventh floor to see an 18th century bell brought over from Japan. I guess some people come for the cafe on the ground floor too, but like I've said, I've never been to the cafe.